guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a Burry Burry haul. I think this is the first video I filmed in 2023. It is Friday the 13th and these are some solid gels. Oh, that's right, I picked out glitter. So they had contacted me um, and asked if I wanted to try any more since I have done a video on um, their gels in the past. I definitely wanted to try some of their glitters because I used the solid gel last time. So I'm gonna swatch all these for you guys. Glitter, so this is 03. Let's use their little brush that it comes with. So this is 03 and grabbing it. Got to break that layer. And with a thick gel like this, you can just place it how you want, which is normally how I apply my glitter gels anyway. Next up, I'm gonna do six. Should we guess the color? Let's do blue. Pink, so wrong. And I wonder if all of them are going to have that bar glitter. Again, just breaking that first layer and then it's super easy, but you can see you got to break into that first layer. This one did really well. I think I should have probably just committed to breaking that layer in the first one. Next up is five. I'm gonna go green. Again, I have no idea what colors these are, so. <laughs> Purple. I am O for three. Again, just breaking that. But I like that these also have a little bit of color in it, so not only does the gel have color, that's really what you're seeing here because it looks like all of the glitter is iridescent and then the color is actually from the gel. Like I'm wiping my brush off between each one and you can see the color is separate from that glitter. One, I'm gonna go silver. Haha, -ha. or clear, does that count? Oh my God, this one is so sparkly. Like this isn't going anywhere. This is a nice thick builder gel, nice thick viscosity. Just grab a tiny bit more. O2. And I'm gonna go green, or we haven't done blue, maybe blue. Another clear. This one looks like it has different glitter. Okay, last one is four. I'm gonna go blue. Please let me get one of them right. <laughs> oh man, peach. He 
Here is that 04. This one might be my favorite. I love a good peach. Here is this guy, which it does look like the gel yellowed a little bit. Ever so slightly, although it's hard to tell because when you have blue reflectives, a lot of times they show up um, yellow as like that secondary color. So it could just have a lot of that yellow in there. Here is the first one. So number one, this is a beautiful glitter. Oh, let's compare it. This is number one, and then this is number two. This has a lot of like clear holographic. This has like an icy tone to it, so it's a bunch of silvers as well. Here is number five, a beautiful medium lilac purple. So pretty. Here is number three, which is your yellowy gold. So I'm not sure if you can see, but there are actual like gold yellow sequence along with that multicolor in there. Last but not least, number six. This is gonna be amazing for the summer. Like look at that. They are so sparkly, they won't even stay focused. But here are the glitters. Um, these glitters are amazing and affordable. Let me bring down the dimness so you can see the different hues of them. So this is like your peachy champagne color, your pink, your purple. Then this is number two, which has that um, clear holographic. This was number one, which had that silver, so more of your icy kind of clear hollow glitter and then this one actually looks like it's number two and added some of that gold glitter in it so it looks like they combined that but i think these are so pretty i'll make sure to link these below they are so pretty and for me for someone who likes to place their glitter where they want this is right up my alley so you could do a super thin layer and then you could kind of blob it in the middle and kind of like work it down um, to give yourself some more of the um, opaqueness to the glitter but these are pretty jam-packed i must say so thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye so you guys know I like to keep them in drawers. So I went ahead and just took a little dollop and literally just stuck it in the center. I didn't feel like getting out my literal like dotting things because it's glitter and it would not do as well. So that way it'll be super easy for me to reach in my drawer and know that what one I'm grabbing is the right color that I'm looking for. Apparently that was a tongue twister. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.